Hello friends, in the previous video, we created a database and a table inside the database. So in this video, we create one more table and see the foreign key relationship. So just select this, right click, create new table. And table name is like student address. So now this contain like address id which is int and also auto incremented and like country which is a where care and one more and i want this field as a foreign key so it is like a student id so first let me create this as a primary key so let me just save this first so look this sid is a primary key in student table i want this sid is a foreign key in this so let's select this and here is the foreign key so click on this add leave this as it is and here i want this sid so address id country and sid so i want this sid now it is asking the reference table so the reference table is our student and in student table we have a column sid so when you click on this we have a column sid click okay so it give an error because i use this as a where case. so i want this as like int because in student it is also int student id is int so in student address it also int and now when i select this like column sid of this table student address reference table is student this one and the foreign code is sid of student table so now it's created and look the symbol is changed now this so this belong to a foreign key so now let me just fill our data inside this so insert new and address id is auto incremented let me just fill the country and look when i select this it wants a foreign key constant field so i must select this foreign key and look the two records of student table so like one a so this one record belong to this so if i want to delete this is also fail because of the foreign key constraint and look it give a error because of this foreign key so now we successfully create the foreign key in our hdsql so this is a very good concept you can also run your queries inside this so this is a query browser you can select on this you can open as many as query browser so now like if you want to select Here you can see the column of this student address whichever you selected like i'm selecting this so now sid is the column you can also drag and drop these columns so where is student id so now you can click on this execute sql and look the record you can also press f9 so if you want one more query so you can write this 
so you can open as many as query browsers so in this video we simply create a foreign key and see how we can use our queries inside this if you want to write your own query so if you like the video you can hit the like button share the video and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching